when I get into my web and devices uh, section here, each individual slice here, so far, if you look down here on the bottom left, it's a PNG 24. It says it's going to load in 9 seconds at 28.8 .8 kilobits per second. Okay? Now, since this is only a green background with just not much here, what we're going to try and do, we're going to try and make that 9 seconds go down a little bit. So let's go to a JPEG high. That dropped it down to 6 seconds right there. It's still the same quality. It's at 60% quality, but you can't really tell much of a difference. You can kind of tweak with this a little bit, changing the quality from 66 to, to 6 to 75. And right now, I'm going to leave it about 75. I can't see a difference. It's at 8 seconds right there. That's not a big deal. 8 seconds isn't that long. Uh, then we're going to go down. We're going to go to these ones. It's at 1 second. Usually, I don't. if it's at 1 second, I really don't care to change it. It's just a waste of my time. All these are going to be at 1 second here. Uh, this one right here might be at you know, 7 seconds. There's nothing here but a gray background and a little bit of text. So what we can do is we can change it to maybe a JPEG medium, which is going to be quality 30%. See, you can see that it's kind of not as good quality as the rest of these here. So we're going to change that 30%. Let's move it up to where we can actually distinguish a quality difference. Um, Let's go to 75 again. And it's good enough. You know, well, it's at 13 seconds. Before it was at 7. Let's go ahead and go back to PNG 24. Or it's at 6 seconds. We'll leave it at 6 seconds there. And that means these are all going to be 6 seconds as well. 5 seconds for that one. Um, let's grab our hand tool here up on the top left. I'm going to go down so I can check out the footer. Um, and then I will grab my slice select tool. And this one's at one second. This one's at two seconds. That's not big a different, big deal right there. Okay, now that we've kind of, you know, optimized our site here to where it would load quickly, uh, just doing this tutorial very quickly, you can kind of mess around with it yourself, uh, you know, get the feel for it. I'm going to go ahead and just click save. What that's going to do is it's going to pop up this screen here to save it. Okay, right now it's saving it under a folder that I don't really want to save it at. I'm going to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it PSD Site to Dreamweaver. Uh, there's my new folder that I've created. I'm going to place it in this folder, and I'm going to call this uh, PSD Site to Dreamweaver again, just for tutorial sake. Now, below this, we need to look at this. Uh, save as type. Right now, it's only saving the images. And that'll save our images, and then we'll just have to go into Dreamweaver and plop those images right into Dreamweaver uh, with using layers, using divs, using uh, tables, however you want to do it. But a quick way to do this, and a really simple way to do it, is to take this images only. We're going to do HTML and images. Now what that's going to do is that's going to take this site that we've created in Photoshop, and it's going to place it automatically into an HTML document that you can just open up into Dreamweaver, and your site's pretty much complete. Uh, it's already done. And uh, it's also going to create your images into a separate folder. It's going to organize everything for you very nicely. So I'm going to click Save right now. And now that it's saved everything, I'm going to switch over to Dreamweaver and open that up. Okay, and I'll show you how that's done. We're going to go down here and I'm going to open up Dreamweaver and I am going to search for that file let's go to open up here file and open we will go to our desktop and go find that site that I just created So the P PSD site to Dreamweaver, and I'm just going to open up my HTML document right here. And voila, here's the website we just created. Right here it says this was the no white space image area. I'm just going to delete that text. We don't need that anymore. It's just telling me that there's no there's no image there. It's just a blank area in this table. See how that works? It created our images automatically for us, and then with that HTML file, it automatically put it into a table. And we can take this outer table here. We can, if we want to center our page, if we want to give our page a uh, background color, let's make our background color black. Um, and now we have just transferred, actually, see so this table right here, it's black. 
lost our white there. We'll just actually make that table, put a white uh, background to that table and bring our white back. Uh, we have taken our Photoshop, we've sliced it up, we've moved it over to Dreamweaver in an HTML document, and now our website is already complete. We have finished our website and we can load it onto the web and show it off to people. Uh, right now, see how I individually click on these? It's because they're already sliced into separate images. So therefore, if you want to create hyperlinks with these, home right here, we can go down to the hyperlink and uh, do home.htm, uh, go to the about us here. We can create our own little hyperlinks in there and it's all ready to go. I'm going to get rid of that border using zero there. Uh, and these are all separated into separate tables and they're all separate images. It's as easy as that to create to to create a website in Photoshop, slice it up, move it over to Dreamweaver and actually if you don't like tables I'm going to show you something really quick. Uh, we can go to modify here and we can go and um, convert these tables into AP divs which is now going to change all these tables now they're in layers. So if you didn't if you don't like using tables and you like using layers, you can still do it this way. Put it on this thing, put it on your Dreamweaver, go to convert, convert it over to layers, and now you're using CSS divs, uh, which they've automatically created into separate div files up here on the right hand side, as you can see. That is our tutorial on how to slice up a PSD uh, website, move it over to Dreamweaver in an HTML document, change it over to layers, and uh, now you can just go open up your Photoshop, create a website, and transfer it over, and you're all ready to go. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, WebNewbie.com is where you can find it, and I uh, hope you watch our videos, and I'll see you next time.